dear viewer in this tutorial i will be discussing the difference between sensors and transducer so most of them are having a confusion about whether the sensors and transducers are identical or not so let us understand is there any difference between sensors and transducers moving on to the discussion as you can observe there is a table so i have bifurcated the points related to sensors and transducers let us discuss about sensor what is a sensor as per the definition it senses the physical changes occur in the surrounding and converting into readable quantity for example thermometer barometer etc okay if i talk about the transducer it is a device which when actuates transform the energy from one form to another form that is lvdt lvdt is one of the transducer okay it obeys based on the principle of inductance effect and also i can say that strain gauge strain gauge load cell all are called transducer okay the this is a main uh, difference as far as the definition concerned and if i talk about the components which are present inside the sensor only sensor sensor itself is a component if i talk about the transducer transducer comprises of both sensing element as well as signal conditioning device so i should say that sensor is a part of transducer okay that is a, one of the important difference then regarding the functionality sensor detects the changes and induces the corresponding electrical signal for voltage sensor current sensor etc regarding the function of transducer it convert one form to another form that phenomenon is called as transduction okay in case of sensor no transduction phenomenon will be taken place okay the physical quantity will be converted into readable quantity in case of transducers the energy conversion will be taken place now let us look at the block diagram of sensor as you can see the sensor itself is an element based on the physical changes you will be getting the readable output quantities that is exactly happening in case of sensor but in case of transducer there will be a sensing element and a signal conditioning unit so input signal that will be converted into the measurable output quantity say in the in the in the form of electrical quantity input might be non electrical quantity and you will be getting the electrical quantity so that is a speciality of the transducer so there is a difference in the block diagram also so you can note on this difference this is very important anyway sensors and transducers both are different okay but sensor is a part of transducer coming into another differences what are the examples of sensors accelerometer acceleromyograph then barometer then gyroscope these are the, these are all the examples of sensor okay if you add a, some kind of signal conditioning device along with the accelerometer or acceleromyograph then it become transducer i hope you understood so sensor is a part of transducer then regarding the transducers thermistor thermocouple lvdt these are all the examples of transducer here sensing as well as signal conditioning process will be taken place that point you have to underline sensor senses the physical changes occur in the surrounding that is true then regarding the transducer that convert the physical quantity or non electrical quantity into a signal or electrical signal okay then functionality it detects the changes in induced in corresponding to electrical signal then the function of transducer that is actually happening in case of conversion of one form of energy to another form okay energy conversion will be taken place in in case of transducer but here sensors no energy conversion whatever the physical signal that will be converted into measurable form coming into another point compared to transducer a sensor is very less complicated and its performance least complicated and working also simple but in case of transducer this is complicated because transducer always comprises of a sensing element as well as signal conditioning device 
So transducer serves to be a more complicated device as it designed to transform the physical quantity into another output signal. That means non-electrical quantity will be converted into electrical quantity. So it comprises of the sensor and signal conditioning unit. So it is a bit expensive as well, and complicated and expensive compared to a sensor. But the applications of uh, transducers are wide compared to sensors. Sensors have sensors have a lot of limitations. Okay. Now sensor may not be a transducer. Correct. So thermometer is not a transducer. It is only a sensor. Then regarding the transducer, a transducer will always contain a sensor. Correct. No, we can say transducer will always contain a sensor. So one more difference. Sensor is a device, or you can call it as a module, or you can call it as a subsystem, uh, whose purpose is to detect events or changes in its environment and send the information to other electronics or frequently a computer process. That is exactly happening in case of sensor. On the opposite hand, a transducer is a device that converts energy from one form to another form. Energy conversion is very merely happening in case of transducer. Usually, a transducer converts a signal in one form of energy to another form of signal. That is very, very true. That means non-electrical quantity or mechanical quantity that is going to convert into electrical quantity. And a load cell. Okay, we can able to measure the weight of the load. That will be converted in terms of either voltage or current. Okay, this is also very important. Then regarding the cost, sensor is very less costly. That means it is cheap compared to transducer. But transducer is a bit expensive because it comprises of both sensor as well as signal conditioning unit. Signal conditioning unit is too delicate and costly. Okay, uh, these are the major differences between sensor and transducer. I would like to conclude once. Sensor is a part of transducer. Okay, all sensors are not transducer. Sensor, sensor is a separate subsystem. Okay, that point you have to remember. If you are having any queries, you can put up in the comment box. Finally, thank you very much for watching this video.